Away from legal matters, one of the cardinal objectives of Governor Kimumi and the led administration is to gradually transform the, the state into a smart city. This concept integrates information and communication technology and various physical devices connected to the network to optimize the efficiency of city operation services and people of the state. The acquisition of a state-of-the-art uh, state fully equipped outside broadcast van by Governor Ambode speaks a volume of the attention that Lagos Television has enjoyed in the past three years. Our correspondent Joshua Murakinho reports. Lagos Television, founded in 1980, like many other state-owned media outfits, has the responsibility of being the information dissemination machinery and as feedback mechanism between the government and the people. The fully fitted, purpose-built, state-of-the-art outside broadcast was built by one of the leading outside broadcast vehicle system integration providers, giving end-to-end -end services to broadcasters globally. This acquisition is an attestation of Governor Akumi Ambode's commitment to fully digitize the operations of the state television. The unique features of this OB van include TriCaster 460 multi-standard, 30CM mic for all RTS and Telex panels, extra high-definition phone models, digital recording console with active integration, satellite uplink comprising MPEG-2 SD and MPEG-4 H.264, AVC SD slash HD in 8 and 10 bits, high definition and SD sync pulse generator with reference input, 20 slot frame with IPSU for open gear series cards, among other very sophisticated high definition systems. The end users of the OB van say Lagos Television has been placed on a pedestal for competitive broadcasting in the country and beyond. The OB van that we have now has the capacity to handle high definition video content. And with that, we have very good quality video and definitely superb audio. With this OB van now, LTV can compete with any broadcasting organization. The OB van can be used to drive revenue. Corporate bodies can come on board to request for our services. A lot of things that we've been unable to do before now, we'll be able to do them, we'll be able to record, we'll be able to transmit. We're going to get clear cut picture, clear pictures, clear productions, live productions, mixed down right there from the field. We don't need to transmit to the studio before it's being mixed up. The investment in the purchase of 30 JVC GYHM200E cameras at the beginning of Governor Ambode's administration proves that His Excellency places premium on high standards. These sophisticated cameras come with full complement of kits such as lights, extra batteries, lapel mics to mention a few. Now we have 4K camera JVC, latest one of course, and um, not one, not two you have multiple up to like 30 at once. Before now, the news has to rearrange themselves. They have to struggle with recording. They have to manage the number of cameras they have with the number of cameramen. But now we have our people with enough equipment. They are harmed, they are equipped. I think this is the best of time for Lagos Television. Realizing the import of having these digital equipment and gadgets without human capacity proficiency and exposure to international best practices, Governor Kimumi Ambode approved an all-expenses-paid training for 20 Lagos television staff drawn from different departments of the organization. The training will be in batches to be facilitated by one of the best in television broadcasts, the cable news network, CNN, in London. It is on record that this gesture by Amiibu Governor is unprecedented. It is expected that a combination of these broadcast equipment and international training for members of staff will translate to an organization that is competitive and a force to reckon with in the broadcast industry. Joshua Murakinho, LTV News.